hello my Gemini babies so this is gonna be your weekend um, angels agree with the horn honk in the background this is gonna be your weekend reading for August 18th the 19th the 20th and the 21st take what resonates leave the rest this is gonna be a video that is longer than 10 minutes so you might want to head over to YouTube and check it out if you want um, that's Tara's Real Talk Tarot. Hit subscribe, hit the bell thingy for notifications. Comment, like, let me know if you resonate with it. Let's find out what's going on for my Gemini babies for this weekend. All right, Spirit, what is going on with Gemini for the weekend? What is going on with my Gemini babies for the weekend? I have the higher font, and we have the three of wands in reverse. You are losing your patience on something. You're like, you know what? Waiting for that perfect time is overrated. Um, but we have the higher font, so it's like you have been working hard towards something. You've been very fully committed um, to a certain situation, very structured. It's like you're not bending on whatever it is that you're learning at this point. Um, for some of you, you could be, um, it's just some kind of commitment. It doesn't have to be towards love. It could be towards you learning a new trade or just you holding a lot of self-discipline. And with the three of wands, you're not holding yourself back either. It's like, I'm not going to wait for the perfect moment. I'm doing this shit now because life is too short. I don't have time to wait. So with the Ten of Wands, you don't mind putting the work in. And I feel like that you're doing this by yourself because the Wands, especially the Ten of Wands, is about you struggling by yourself. You may not be telling people that you're struggling alone. You might not even be looking at it like you're struggling alone. But it's something that you, you know, you are wanting and willing to put the work into. Now this could be about anything. We do have the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Nine of Swords in reverse tells me that you're not stressing out about this at all. It might be a struggle to you, but it's like, I'm putting in the work. I'm not going to stress out about this because I already know the outcome. And with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is all about slow and steady wins the race, but you're not trying to go slow and steady. The only thing I can say about this is to make sure that you're not stepping into something that you're not thinking through. I almost feel like that there could be certain things that you're moving very fast on. And you're like, you know what? I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just going to step into it. We do have the Knight of Cups. You're following your heart's desire. You are. You're following your heart's desire. You're like, this is what I want. And this is where I'm going to go towards. And this is where I'm going to put my feelings. Like you're set on this. Like you're not even thinking about it. Bottom deck energy is the Emperor. So you're moving towards somebody who's very structured, somebody who's very disciplined, somebody who's on your wavelength. You see them as an equal. This could also be you looking at somebody else, you know, um, as it's my way or the highway type of energy. It's like you either have to raise up to meet me or you're going to get left behind. And you're not entertaining anything that is not for you. Hmm, you're not going to entertain anything that's not contributing to your future. You might be talking to this person or that person, or you might be doing this or doing that, but they're just like pure entertainment for you. So it's like you are not like fully committing to anyone else, but... I do feel like that there is something that you're fully committed to. I'm not looking at it as love. Some of you could take this as a love reading. But you are only wanting to connect with people who are being self-disciplined. Who are, you know, they're about growth. They are about moving in a forward direction. And you're not going to settle for anything less than that. Spirit, what does Gemini have to look forward to? What does Gemini have to look forward to? What does Gemini have to look forward to? What 
We have the Ten of Pentacles. See, and the cards moved aside. We have the judgment. <laughs> so, you are, you're judging things left and right. You're like, I'm balancing things out. I'm only allowing in what I want to, but you're taking a chance on yourself big time. So, when it comes to the Ten of Pentacles, it's like, you know what you want. It's family. It's home. You know, it's stability. It's you being in your light. We have the sun and we have the two of pentacles. You know it's going to take some work, but this is your happiness. So you don't mind putting the work in. There could be also a monetary, uh, a a monetary windfall coming towards you. Um, some of you could be working towards a promotion. Or some of you could be like just getting some prosperity and, and abundance your way. And you don't mind working for it. This is your happiness. You are definitely working towards your own happiness. We had a card flip over. So we do have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is looking to see what is offered to you. It's like, I'm not going to offer you any love. I'm going to see if you give me love. If you give me love, maybe I'll give you love. We have the Lover's card that just popped out. So you are showing up in your own reading, in your own light you are in your own empowerment like and the emperor popping up for you too that also tells me that you are just standing your ground when it comes to a lot of things we have the four of pentacles yeah you're holding on to your power you're holding on to things that are um grounding to you your stability you're like i'm not giving up any of my sanity if you make me insane i have no place for you <laughs> Bottom deck energy is justice. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you have the judgment card that popped out over here. And you have the justice card that popped out here. So, there could be people in your life that you're like, you know what? I'm going to throw your own karma back at you. If you wasted my time, I hope you get your time wasted. Like, you have that kind of energy about you that you're keeping yourself that protected and that shielded. That you just don't want to entertain anybody who you feel is going to step to you wrong or um, take your light or, you know, you just want that complete balance. You want that reciprocation. You, you want somebody who is, spirit said, on your level is how you truly look at it. It's like, if you can't offer what I have to offer, then yeah, I'm going to use this sword to cut you. So when it comes to, after the Justice card is the Ace of Wands, you are looking for a very motivational, moving type of start, a new beginning with a lot of passion. It's like you're very passionate for this. You have the Two of Cups. You could be connecting with somebody on a love level, or you could be t connecting with a friend where you're having a heart-to-heart, -heart, letting, letting them know how you feel. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, so this is a person who's very stable, a person who's very loyal, somebody who will show up for you, somebody that you see as very strong, somebody that you see is, uh, they have their shit together. We have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like that you're moving out of the space of feeling like you're alone and doing this work. I think that you are going to meet somebody or you have already met somebody who is willing to take half the work for you. And so you feel like you can relax a little bit that you don't have to work so much by yourself. And here comes the rebirth. It's the death card. So there's some kind of rebirth that is going to happen for you. To where it's going to be something that you're not used to. And it's going to be something that you have to get used to. If you want something good out of it, then you have to get out of your comfort zone. And you're going to have to do a lot of um, searching within as to how can I let go of control when it comes to this? How can I allow somebody else to do something for me when I've been working so hard by myself? So it's a sense of you um, learning how to depend on somebody who you find is an equal person. You know, somebody you don't have to fix, somebody that you don't have to heal, somebody that, you know, is going to show up for you as well as show up for themselves. All right. So Spirit, what advice do you have for my Gemini babies? What advice do you have for my Gemini babies? 
Ooh. And we get a big chunk coming out. All right, so we have the wolf, heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. And I feel like that you don't have any problem doing that right now, Gemini. You're like, you know what? You're not good for my heart, so bye. I'm not dealing with you. Have a good one. Deuces. I feel like that you are really looking out for yourself when it comes to this. And this is what's going to open up the door for other opportunities to come to you. Other people who you find to be even keel with you, you know, other people who work as hard as you do. We have the eagle, ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. I feel like that's a big one, you know, letting go of your past and cutting free people who were a part of your past, I don't think has been really difficult for you. But this is um, an indication to keep going on this road. You know, you are cutting, you know, um, binds you are cutting ties that has kept you in a loop of toxic relationships or toxic ways of thinking or feeling like you you don't deserve this that or the other we have the crane surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is i think this has a lot to do with you having to expand yourself a little bit and trusting a person can work as hard as you do and for you trusting that I think that's going to be difficult, but I think that you're going to do it, especially when you see that a person is going to be like-minded as you are. We have the hair, which is strength. Take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. This is telling me that first part where you're not taking, like you're not even looking before you're jumping. This is an indicator to kind of use your discernment. Don't jump too quick. Don't jump too soon. But indeed, jump. Just make sure that you know what you're doing for yourself. We have the sea turtle. Conservation. Make conscious choices. Tells me again, make sure that you are taking the time to kind of assess the situation. But don't scare yourself off of it. Don't scare yourself off of your path. We have horse, which is free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. And I feel like that you're going to meet a person who's going to, um, they're going to encourage you to do that. They're going to encourage you to be free. And it's going to feel awesome. It's going to feel great for you. This is really good. So this is what I have for you for this weekend, Jim and I. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.